Getting right to it, LeBron James Jr. aka Bronny has been one of the most talked about prospects over the past 5 years. The media hyping up young basketball players isn't anything new, as Victor Wembanyama and Zion Williamson were two of the most popular NBA prospects since LeBron James himself. However, unlike the names that I just mentioned, there's some speculation surrounding Bronny's overall game, with many questioning whether or not he's actually NBA material. There seems to be a historical pattern. The sons of Hall of Fame players tend to be several levels below their fathers in terms of on the court production. Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, and Dwayne Wade are only a few examples, as each of their sons played ball, but none of them were true NBA talent. However, since the 2010s, there hasn't been a name as big as LeBron James in the NBA. With the level of viewership and national attention that he receives, the league and other forms of media milk his name on a daily basis. Should LeBron... LeBron James. Oh. Knowing LeBron, LeBron walked... The the negotiation LeBron is sending. This attention trickled down to his son as Bronny would receive scholarship offers from prestigious basketball schools such as Duke and Kentucky at 11 years old. There's no chance that your average fifth grade hooper is receiving that kind of love. Fast forwarding to Bronny's high school basketball career, while I followed and supported his game throughout his time at Sierra Canyon, he wasn't the game changing five star recruit that he's been hyped up to be. In his junior year, Bronny averaged nine points, three rebounds, three assists, and two steals a game. He then jumped up to 14 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 2 steals. While it's clear that Bronny has freak athleticism like his father, solid defense, and a high IQ, he never looked like a true number one option on his team. NBA players, no matter how well they adjusted to the league, were pretty dominant amongst their peers in high school and at the collegiate level. There is a reason why these men were heavily scouted and became part of the NBA alumni, but year after year, I never saw that from Bronny. Listening to what Gilbert Arenas had to say. He hit me, he hit me in the DM and said, yo, my son gonna be at, gonna be working out with dribble too much. Can you put some eyes on him? I'm a little worried. I hit him back and I said, yo, y'all probably got the same speed, probably got the same passing skills. At this age, he probably jumps a little bit higher, probably a little bit stronger. He can definitely shoot better and dribble better than you, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah that's right. Mm -hmm. I respectfully disagree on almost every level. There was no point where I looked at Bronny's game in high school and thought, wow, this guy's on par or even better than his father at X, Y, and Z. The only thing that stands out when comparing him to a teenage LeBron is his defense. Moving on from there, the lack of tenacity is a huge issue in Bronny's game. He looked passive at times, and he still does at USC, which leads me to my next point. I'll take into full account that his previous health concerns had an effect on the beginning of the season. However, since he's been back, and as the season's been pushed into full swing, Bronny looks like a 70 overall my career player. He currently averages 6 points per game, 3 rebounds, 2.5 assists, on 37% from the field, and 28 from 3. It would be an absolute crime if he occupied a draft spot over somebody who's far more deserving. While I completely understand that the last name James holds a lot of weight, it would be the most blatant and egregious case of nepotism if Bronny became a first or even a second round draft pick based off where he's at right now this season. While LeBron wants to play with his son, something that's never happened in league history, he'd be setting up Bronny for failure. His recent comments have been proven false as Bronny's first half of the season with USC has been terrible. It's also worth noting that the Trojans are now 4-10 since he's been placed into the lineup, receiving 20 minutes per game, good for 6 most on his team. Overall, it might be more responsible if Bronny stays in college for another year or two. He'll be able to continue to develop his game. I could see the potential in his game, but he definitely needs more time in order to maximize it. Anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe because I'll be dropping a special Kobe and GG tribute this Thursday. Till next time, peace!